at the beginning of the pandemic, I wasn't motivated. I was right off the trials, I was fourth. And once Boston got pulled off the schedule, I was not motivated. And so I took a break until I was excited again. I think it made me hit reset and just rethink about what I want for my career and how long I want to do this. So in that process, it was like, can I have fun for four more years? Is this something I really want to approach at the same level? And that was thinking differently in what events I'm going to do and the why. Destober was wild. Back in October, we did an event called the Run Destober, where you did a calendar club running the miles that the date is. It was in October, it's Destober. So October 2nd, two miles, October 15th, 15 miles. Sounds easy until you get to around the 20th or so, and then it becomes a real pain in the I thought it was just a lot of fun to try something totally different in a year where we weren't locked into the calendar. And yeah, I found out I'm really durable. So we use that information going forward. scouting out where we're going to do the workouts. So I have 26 miles total and I'll do three by five miles within that. Start at 550 to 545 and then the next set should be 545 to 540 um, and then 540 to 535 if the legs are there. Honestly I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I don't get nervous for a lot of workouts but this is a biggie. Yeah, she's good. She looks good. She's cranking away. Gonna get on the bike a little bit, give her some company. The workout today is huge. I think one, covering the distance and feeling strong throughout is always a big boost yeah, for your confidence. Awesome. And I feel like that's the 50K, you know, I want to be aggressive and have fun, but also respect the distance and find that balance of testing myself, but hopefully coming out on the good side of it with the record, with a good experience. I grew up in Southern California and went to school, high school and middle school in Chula Vista. Hilltop High graduate, and as a kid, it was pretty normal, pretty average. I think I was into sports, started at a really young age, and was very competitive, and that was kind of what my days were centered around, uh, soccer as a kid, and then eventually getting into running. I got a little bit of uh, some chicken thighs, got some uh, fresh chicken. Italian pasta, and some uh, California basmati rice. I've seen it over the years, the dedication, the discipline. She's out there doing it when times it's not fun and times it is fun. The strive to be better than you were the day before. The never give up attitude. Summer of 17 was, it was a challenging time in my career and I feel like there's always ups and downs and that was like a very specific breaking point where there was just the height of frustration and I can't pinpoint the thing that was like the straw that broke the camel's back but I just felt exhausted with the sport unmotivated unexcited just didn't care to try anymore in that particular arena and mentally and physically really stepped away for like a good probably two months you know I allowed myself to kind of explore what it might be like to not be a professional runner and then see if I missed it. And it took longer than I like to admit, but I did miss it. And then was able to kind of regroup and, and find the things that inspired me and made it fun again. And so I think from that, I want to be having the most fun doing my job. Some people won't understand the 50K, but to me, this is fun. This is the challenge, this is what it's all about. And so it's not about making other people understand, it's about enjoying what you're doing. And Loving the process, which it sounds cliche, but it really is like we're gonna have the most fun. Yeah. Put in the work, 50k record attempt today. 
really good energy in this lot and it feels like some grassroots running stuff where it just popped up out of nowhere. Freaking perfect day. It's what we call the no excuse day. The I's were dotted and the T's were crossed and we're ready and everything is lined up. Des did all the heavy lifting with the mileage and the stage is set, now it's time to eat. Charlie and I would look down and be like, oh, 540. Like, that's a little rich, we need to back off some. Let's stay really patient here, let's not get overexcited. But we continued to build into it. We had a really good rhythm together, like locked in. aggressive she's running smart she looks well within herself and we got a good one going the last 24 through 26 I was feeling the distance and I was like man did we totally goof this up by kind of putting some quicker miles in I was like, Charlie, move. And so I dug deep that last 200 meters. Yes! Yes!